see now this ring light is going to make my life so much better okay. hi everyone so today's video is going to be about things that you should budget for before starting dental school the first thing I'm going to talk about are loops so loops are those fancy magnifying glasses that dentists wear they cost around a thousand to three thousand dollars the ones that I purchased were from ultralight and they cost me around eight hundred dollars and then I also purchased their light which is around five hundred dollars but then later on I ended up returning the loops because I wanted more magnification and they didn't have like very high magnification with the style of glasses that I picked out so I switched to Q optics and the Q optics ones were a little bit pricier they were around 1700 but I like them a lot more that I am getting the magnification I want and the very nice thing is that they have a lifetime warranty so when you are choosing your loops you want to look at the warranty uh, you want to see if they're very heavy so it won't strain your neck and you also want to see I think it's called the angle of inclination so like where the little microscope telescope thingies magnifying things are placed on the glasses so you don't have to like bend your neck over so much so once you start school there'll be like loop reps that come to your school and basically sell you and talk to you about them. So you'll learn a lot more about those. All right, the next thing I'm going to talk about are the clubs and organizations. So when you start school, you're going to want to join some clubs and organizations and they do cost money. So some of the ones that I joined were Psi Omega, which is a dental fraternity. I joined KDSA, which is Korean um, Dental Student Association and SNDA, which is Nas or Student National Dental Association. So the Psi Omega is $300 and it's for all my four years. The SNDA is $75 for all four years and KDSA was $100 for all four years. So that's a good chunk of money that I wasn't planning on spending because I didn't know that these clubs cost so much. But the good thing is it's a one-time payment and I don't have to pay it again. Some other clubs that don't require fees are Lucy Hobbs Taylor, which is a club I joined and it's where you find your big and where you get your little next year. So it's basically just like a mentoring ship program type of thing. So that's free. And then another club is a Yuda. So with a Yuda, you don't have to pay and it allows you to go volunteer at dental clinics off campus. And with the UDA, you can also participate in mission trips. So one of the mission trips that I recently participated in through a UDA International was the Rosarito, Mex Rosarito, Mexico trip. And I did vlog about it, so if you haven't watched that video, you can watch it up here. So that trip cost me around 300, it was like two something, but around $300. So that was a pretty inexpensive mission trip and it's because we didn't have to take a plane we just drove down to Mexico from LA but still something that I didn't budget for and these mission trips aren't mandatory but I would recommend at least going on one because they're very eye-opening very fun and you will gain a lot of valuable experience so another trip that Ayuda also offers is a trip to Panama so they're gonna do a trip to Panama this April but I won't be going on it because that trip is a lot of money it's way more expensive it's around three thousand dollars so if you want to budget for that and if that interests you you can budget for that but it's way too much money um, although USC also has a different club on campus called DHOP which stands for dental humanitarian outreach program and if you're in this organization you can also go on mission trips so DHOP also put on a trip to Panama this past winter break and it's way cheaper. It was around $2,000, a little bit less than $2,000. But the thing is to be in this organization, you have to interview and be accepted. So there's that. I did actually apply interview, but I wasn't accepted, which is why I didn't go. But I will try again next year or my third year. Yeah, we'll see what happens. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the replacement equipment. So you pay for your equipment, but if it breaks or if you lose it, you have to purchase 
that equipment again, which is really annoying and you feel like it's never going to happen, but it happens. I've lost, let's see, a rubber dam frame. I've lost like three cutting instruments. I, or actually I didn't lose them, I broke them. If they fall on the ground, they're very fragile, so they just break. And the cutting instruments are around like $10, $15. The rubber dam frame was around $10. And then burrs for your hand pieces, they have to be replaced. The burrs are pretty cheap, they're around $2, a dollar, something like that. Some of them are more. I also have to replace some polishing burrs. One of, one of them I believe was like $10. The next thing I'm going to talk about, which is the second to last thing, are scrubs. So you will get scrubs once you start school, but they usually don't come until two or three months after you start school, so you do need something in the meantime. If you don't buy scrubs in the meantime, you'll have to wear professional clothes every single day, or at least that's, what, that's how it was at our school, or that's how it is at our school. <laughs> Okay, so I bought my first pair of scrubs through Amazon and they only cost me $20, which is a really good deal, but they weren't very nice scrubs. It was just like a very baggy top. Um, and I got an extra small and a very baggy bottom and I also had to hem them, but it was 20 for the entire set, which is a really good deal because then I bought another pair of scrubs through Figs, which is an awesome scrub company. You've probably seen on Instagram or your other dental school, your other friends that are in dental school wearing things because they're so comfortable and they're pretty flattering for scrubs. But they are really expensive. They're around like $90 for a set. Um, so if you're wanting to buy things, definitely budget for that because it's a lot of money, especially if you buy more than one. But luckily, if you go to USC, USC has a contract with Fig, so we get a pretty sweet discount, which is really awesome, which is the main reason why it, I ended up buying Figs. All right, and for the last thing, uh, this you don't really have to purchase or anything, it's just like extra, but you're definitely going to want to have some fun. So this category, I just call it entertainment and self-care. So this is, this is kind of just up to you, but I'm gonna share what I spent money on for this entertainment and self-care portion. So I purchased a football season pass um, to go see football games or to go to the football games because uh, they're a lot of fun here. But I wasn't planning on purchasing one, so that was something I wish I budgeted before. So that was, the season pass was around $200. For the whole season and then something else that I purchased that I wasn't thinking about purchasing but I'm going to continue purchasing throughout the months is yoga and I spend around a hundred dollars a little over a hundred dollars a month on this yoga but it's really helping me out <laughs> um, it's really relaxing and that's like my self-care thing if I go to yoga I feel better and yeah it's kind of like an investment in my body and my future so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope these tips were helpful um yeah i hope everyone is doing great and hopefully you guys will see a vlog coming up soon so stay tuned and yeah keep studying and keep working hard see you guys in the next video